I'm in Nilesville tonight. So I told you guys that I was going to be broadcasting from my mom's house, and I'm here. And I'm happy that I got to stay um, until tomorrow, so that's nice. Let's see, I'm trying to find me on my laptop so I can see comments. And there we go. And I think I found us. Cancel and hang on just a second. I'm going to get me up and running. There we go. Okay. There we go. Do we have people coming in? Yes. Great. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys are joining me tonight. This is going to be a little test run. So um, we have done everything here tonight to get this working. Like it's been kind of a circus. Um, we had to unplug the refrigerator, unplug the fish aquarium, unplug the power strip next to me. We turned off the lights. We turned off the lamp that I have here to brighten things because we had some type of electrical interference that was causing the squealing. I think that it's going to blur in and out a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be severe. Hi, Michael. I got to meet Michael in Orlando, and that was so wonderful. There were a lot of people I got to meet in Orlando, and it was so much fun. Um, and I'm grateful for everybody that came up and introduced themselves to me. That was just so fabulous. Um, so we may run into some trouble tonight. I am out in the country and as you all know, uh, country internet does not work great. So, um, if we do run into trouble, if we get interrupted, if I lose you, I don't know that I'm going to come back on. I may have to, you know, whatever projects we haven't covered tonight, I may have to just wait until next Sunday when I'm at home with my super duper internet connection. So we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I was really happy to be able to stay here with my mom. All of our hunters went home today at noon, which is so weird. Um, but me and my mom, we hung out. Um, we went back up in the we call her stand the palace and it's pretty sweet we were toasty warm all day i took like two or three little cat naps <laughs> i know right um but it was really fun and it was a um it was a, a great big it's a great big like um tree house or she shed that's up on these huge legs. Um, it's really tall and it's got stairs that goes up to it. If you saw my Facebook posts, um, that's where we were. That's where those pictures were taken. And um, it's something that my dad always wanted to build for my mom. And so he got the posts. I think he got the posts in, but he never really got the actual house on top of the posts built. So um, after he died, my husband and my brothers and some other friends all came together and built this great house for her. And I feel very fortunate to be able to sit in it with her because it is lovely. Um, no freezing for us. Hi, Becky. Hi, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Um, my Florida awards were just amazing. I'm still in awe over the whole onstage event. It was, it was really heartwarming, all the demonstrators that I know and am good friends with coming up and just congratulating me like, oh my gosh, Kelly, you had an amazing year. And I really did. And it just goes to show you that hard work, dedication, and consistency can get you those things. I mean, that's how I got all those awards was by working hard and um, having good customer service and being very, very consistent. So that's why these Sunday Facebook Lives are so important to me because I need that consistency. Oh, and Carol says that her granddaughter got a nice buck in Wisconsin today. Good for her. So we saw 10 deer yesterday and I was going to shoot one. And um, I lost my clips, my gun case, the zipper broke on it, and I didn't really realize it. And we got all the way up to our stand, and I didn't have any clips for my gun. And so um, I held back the, the, what do you call that, the action. And my mom poked a, a shell in there, but I didn't let it slam hard enough, and you have to really let that slam. So then what happened is when I got ready to shoot this buck, my gun went click. 
And I went, yep, that's par for the course. <laughs> so anyways, it was safe. He got away and, and everything was good. But we did see 10 deer and two fox. So that was pretty neat. And that's one of the really nice things I like about being out in the woods, whether I'm gun hunting or bow hunting, is getting to see all the, all the nature things. It's really cool. So hi, Patricia. Hi, Nicole. Welcome. Hi, Cynthia. So did you guys want to meet my mom? Mom? What? Come in and meet my people. These are my people. I love them. <laughs> Come on in. Say hi. Okay, you guys, this is my mom. Hi. Right there. Right there, there you're going to look okay. right there. Hi, Yay. everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Learn lots. Look at from Australia. Oh, nice. Mom, nice. I bet you Megan's from Australia, too. Hello. Yeah. Linda from Arizona. I love Linda. There's Faye from um, Seymour. And Idaho. Karen Michigan. from Idaho. Yep. Wow. This is my wonderful mother. I have a pretty talented daughter, don't I? Yes, I do. She's so sweet, <laughs> isn't she? She oh. said with all my awards, she's going to make a great big sign and stand out on the road, but the sign needs to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and she doesn't even know if she can hold it anymore. <laughs> now, what do you think of that now, girls? I think that's a pretty good thing. That's fun. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right. Let's get to work. Thanks, Mom. Yep. Okay. Please don't forget to share. <laughs> Michael. Michael says, hi, Kelly's mom. So we have more than girls on here. We have some oh, boys, Michael, too. Oh, sorry about that. That's right. Yeah. Um, caring is sharing. Remember that. Please share my video. That really helps me out. I appreciate it. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to flip my phone shortly so that you don't have all this glare back here because I'm sitting in front of the windows and it was just the place where I needed to be tonight. And Linda says she thinks that you're in the same age group. <laughs> um, so what else do I have here? Whether you're coming to me live or whether you are watching this later on Facebook, I will post this whole video. So if you miss, you know, some dimensions or something like that, don't worry. You'll be able to go back and watch it when I'm done. And you can fast forward, pause, back up. You can do all that stuff. Um, whether you're watching live now or later on Facebook or later on YouTube, because I will post it there, click that share button for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click that like button. All of these little clicks really help me out, and I do appreciate them. Um, what else can I tell you? What happened this week? Oh, I want to make sure you guys know that I have gift certificates available. So you're the stamper, and your family is saying, hey, what can I get you for Christmas? Or what should we get Mom for Christmas? Or what should we get Aunt Lisa, hi Lisa, for Christmas? Um, tell them you contact Kelly Atchison and get me a gift certificate because then that way you can get exactly what you want. And don't forget, we have a brand new mini catalog coming out January 4th, our occasions catalog. Let me grab that. <gasps> Beautiful. There are so many amazing products in here, you guys. I thought that our holiday mini catalog was just like incredible, and it was. This thing is awesome awesome too. I can't wait to share things with you. Now, I wish I could open it up and show you everything, but I can't. Stampin' Up! doesn't allow us to do that. And then we also have Celebration. Oh, hi, Cindy. It's your first time watching. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you could tune in. Um, So, Celebration starts also on um, January 4th. I'm looking to make sure that's the right date. I'm pretty sure that it is. January 3rd. I'm sorry, January 3rd. And what this is, is all these products in here that are for Celebration, they are um, exclusive products just for this promotion. And it goes through March 31st. With your $50 order, you get to choose a free item. With your $100 order, you get to choose two free items with your $150 order, three free items. There are going to be some items in here that are actually um, a level two, which you need to purchase $100 to get one of those. And this is our biggest, biggest promotion of the year. It is my favorite time of the year. I love celebration. So um, as soon as those go live in January, we'll be able to show you all the goodies in them. And you know that um, December is a very, very busy time for Stampin' Up! demonstrators because um, while I did get to pre-order from going to Onstage in Orlando, 
all the demonstrators across the world will get to pre-order on December 4th and then we'll start doing swapping. So we have all kinds of ideas to share with you guys. And that's one of my favorite things to do as a demonstrator. So I also wanted to let you know, um, as a demonstrator, I got to pre-order out of this some select items that Stampin' Up! chose, some sweets for us that we could pre-order because we went to on stage in um, Florida. I also got with each $50 that I pre-ordered from this, hi Cindy, I got to get um, free celebration items. So even as a demonstrator, we get those same benefits, which is fantastic. Now, if you like to get your hands on stuff ahead of time, you can actually order our starter kit, discount shopper kit, if you wanna be a discount shopper, and you can order products just like I can, out of these mini catalogs before the public can. So that is something, because you can order anything you want in your starter kit, and pre-ordering from these new mini catalogs and getting things before it's available to the general public is part of the fun. So what happens if you join my team, whether you plan on being a business builder or a discount shopper, you can swap with my team. My team makes some amazing swap cards. Um, you get all the benefits of being a demonstrator. I provide training, and I also have a blog series if you want to start your own blog. That is free to my team members. I do have that available to the public if you're a demonstrator. It starts you from the very beginning where you pick out your name to adding links for the catalogs to how to edit your photos, all that good stuff that is available for $69. I think it's $69. I sell that to the general public and it has been very popular and I've just had rave reviews over it. It was a program that it took me about a year to develop. So it's, um, it's very comprehensive and it's very very detailed. Okay, another big announcement. Stampin' Up! announced that we have new cling stamps coming. And what does that mean? Well, I think you guys know that in the past we've had a little trouble with our stamps sticking to our acrylic blocks. Once you put the label on, sometimes they fall off, right? So Stampin' Up! is now moving to all cling stamps that will be, um, they'll convert over to completely to the cling stamps as of um, the new catalog in June. We are going to be doing away with wood mount stamps except for our big background stamps. Those we will, we will continue to offer in wood mount, but otherwise we're going with all cling stamps because um, I think they said there's only about 4% that are ordering wood block stamps anymore. So it's kind of sad, but I'm good with it. I love photopolymer. Those are my favorite, but um, we're going to be fine and we're going to, we're going to embrace this new change because I think everybody's really going to love it. Okay. Um, please make sure that if you're just logging on that you let me know where you're coming from or leave some type of a comment for me because that will enter you into a drawing to win product. And who doesn't want to be a winner, right? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is um, bring in my winners from the last two weeks. You guys know that I pre-recorded a Facebook Live to share with you last Sunday while I was in Orlando, Florida. And I got some really good comments. And thank you guys so much for being so grace gracious about that because I felt a little apprehensive about it. I wasn't sure if it would be received well. I wasn't sure if it'd really turn out. And you guys were just so wonderful. I'm really glad that I did it. And um, so I didn't pick any winners from two weeks ago. And then I need to pick winners from last week also. So I think I'm going to flip my phone around. And like I said, if you're coming in a little bit late, I want to let you know I am at my mom's house and I do not have good internet here. She lives out in the country and anybody who lives in the country knows what a struggle that is. Um, if we run into problems or if the if it starts squealing because we had to unplug a whole bunch of things, we were having some electrical interference. Yeah, bad reception, Vicki, saying, I know, right? Um, if you see problems, let me know. I'm going to try to keep looking at my comments. But it may be that if things go too wrong that we're going to have to shut down tonight. I'll finish whatever project I'm doing, shut down, and I'll just save the other projects for next Sunday. I hope that's not the case because I have some really cute things to, to um, share with you. 
I know Melissa and Tammy are both excited for the changes that are coming. Um, yeah, and Cindy says she doesn't add her labels. I don't add my labels either. And honestly, I'm kind of lazy about that. <laughs> Because it's kind of a lot of work, isn't it? Um, so I'm looking forward to um, the cling stamps. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, I'm going to flip you around, so just hang tight. Stick with me. If I happen to touch my phone and lose you, please click on the title of my page until I come back on. I promise I'll come back on, okay? So hang tight. We're going to flip. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes right now. And here we go. That'll get rid of that glare that's behind me. I'll set these catalogs over and look, my pop socket just fell off the back. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having some challenges with my phone lately. I think I need to go in and see somebody. All right. This looks pretty good, right? I think we're looking okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, where's my little card? Hang on, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I have notes. I know that's shocking, right? So from 11-4, so from November 4th, I have Joanne Porter, big winner for making comments on that particular um, Facebook Live. Joanne is going to win a packet of the Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. And I have to tell you, Joanne, these are no longer available. So you are um, one lucky stamper. Thank you for your comments that you left. Next we have, hang on, here we go. Linda Delrymple. Linda, are you watching tonight? I think you may be watching. We've got the delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes, and these are a very pretty pack of note cards with um, vanilla, very vanilla envelopes. I think you're going to love them. Congratulations, and that was for sharing the video. And next we have June O'Kelly. June is from Boise, Idaho, and she is going to win the warm-hearted um, exclusive host stamp set. This has got some really fun greetings and some fun images for the New Year, Christmas, a thank you, and Halloween. So I think June is really going to enjoy this. And I will be dropping all of those in the mail this week. Then from um, November 11th, which is last Sunday, I have for commenting on my Facebook Live, I've got Char Litton. And Char is going to win a pack of the Snowflake Stars and Wire Elements. These are copper, and they're just beautiful. Congratulations, Char. For sharing the video, I have Lori Hyde. Lori, are you on tonight? I think I saw your name. And this is an exclusive pack of paper called Dashing Along Designer Series Paper. It is perfect for your Christmas projects. So, um, Lori, I will actually have this available for pickup, I think, because um, we don't usually mail 12 by 12 um, paper because it's so horribly expensive because of the size of it. So um, I'll get in touch with you and we'll work something out. Maybe I'll be coming your way. I'll drop it off for you. And then that was for sharing. And last but not least, I have this Country Road stamp set. And this is for Linda... Sioni of New Hartford, New York. She um, won this for placing an order with me in my online store. So I just made a swap card with this that I took to Florida. And it's a beautiful, beautiful um, images and some really great words in there too. And these are great for masculine cards. So that's super fun. So congratulations to everyone. Okay, so Arliss is saying a little less light. Okay, thanks Arliss, and I will see if I can accomplish that. How about that? I just turned the light off on my um, Facebook Live. Yes, my, my phone is plugged in. Thank you, Carrie, I appreciate it. You guys are always so sweet to help me. I'm gonna move this just a little bit. Let's get this straightened up here. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of shadows, and we're just gonna have to deal with that because I'm not at home tonight. Okay, I'm reading your messages. Nanette from Orlando, Florida. I love Orlando. It was hot and humid while we were there, just the way I love it. <laughs> so that was really cool. Okay, 
Then I wanted to take a little bit of time to show you guys some of the cards that I got in the mail. And I have to show you this one is from Cindy Ellers. Cindy is on my team and a friend of mine from here in Nilsville. She actually invited me over to her house tonight to um, do this Facebook Live if I couldn't get it done here. So that's always an option for me too. They have a different internet service than my mom has. So we might need to try that. Lori, do you find that the lighting is better now? I think we're delayed a little bit. Um, I have to have this lamp here next to me so I can see. And it's going to be shadowy, you guys. So it just is what it is. This is going to be a little... Please turn off the light behind to the right. I can't turn that light off. Do you really think so? We're delayed a little bit. I'm going to keep watching my screen to see what happens. But I'll just keep talking here. I don't think that's going to work. Um, okay, so Cindy sent me this card, and isn't this belly band just the coolest? This uses the Nature's Root. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Back on with the light. The Nature's Root um, bundle, and then look at this. Look at how that opens. Isn't that fun? And this was a congratulations card for all of my awards from on stage, but how cool is that? Very, very cool. I love this. And I love those little um, metal leaf trinkets. Those are so fun. Oh my gosh. My. You want me to turn the light back off? Yeah, it's too dark if I do that. I can't do that. I'm looking at my screen right now and I think it looks okay, you guys. So I'm going to leave it alone. All right, let's keep going. Then I have a card from Rose Bell. Look at this beauty. This uses the Wishing You Well stamp set, and then she added um, the tin tile background here and put some of the copper shimmer paint on over the embossed image. She also added some um, copper, mm, some type of a copper glue here too. Oh, let me get it open here. Yep, and beautiful. This was a Thanksgiving card, so thank you so much, Rose. This is absolutely beautiful. And then, oh my gosh, this is a funny one. This is from Christine Trimble of Mesa, Arizona. Check this out. This is a card for hunting. Eat, sleep, hunt, repeat. And it said, Kelly, I saw this set and I had to buy it to make you this card. I know it's not stamping up, but I thought you might appreciate it anyway. And I do. Thank you so much, Christine. This is just really cool. Oh, and speaking of bears, my uncle who hunts probably... I don't know, six or seven miles from where we are here. He saw a big black bear today while he was deer hunting, which is a little different because they should be hibernating right now. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. He sent us a picture. It was pretty cool. And then I have Sandy Johnson. Look at how pretty this is. What a very pretty card. And um, Sandy is part of my VIP online club, and she filled up her rewards sheet and got to choose $30 in free product from me. So if you're interested in that VIP group, you can go on my blog, and you'll find it at the bottom of every blog post. So just scroll down until it says, um, join my VIP online club, and you click on that. It'll tell you all the great details about it, but it's a pretty fun club. So congratulations, Sandy. That's awesome. And then I have one more here, and this is from Sheila Schultz. And isn't this just pretty? She used the um, a flower embossing folder here, and this is one of our older, more um, very beautiful stamp set. And she left it blank on the inside, which is super nice because now I can use it, right? I can, I can pass on the warm, fuzzy feelings. And um, it says, what a great day it was like Christmas. Oh, she placed an order. <laughs> she, replaced, she received her festive farmhouse elements. Oh, that was the free item that she won. And um, she also ordered the Snowflake Showcase stamp set and dies. Yeah, that's been a really beautiful and fun stamp set. I've been having a blast with it. Okay, are you guys ready to stamp? Because I have some really fun cards to show you. Oh my gosh. 
So Nanette says we had um, one of the hunters at home killed two bears, one 520 and one 722. Holy cow, that's awesome. And yeah, Kim, um, we are a little bit out of focus. There's nothing I can do about it. It is the speed of the internet here. So, okay, and Wendy's saying need to keep upward movement to a minimum. Oh, okay, thank you. Thanks for that notification. I appreciate it. But yeah, our internet here is not going to be the best, and it just is what it is. That is the nature of Facebook Live. Okay, so I've got some great cards to share with you. And let me get out my stuff here so I know what I'm doing. All my different layers here. I am going to start with a piece of garden green. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half. Oops, hang on, we got a little hair there. And burnish it with my bone folder. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White here that's four by five and a quarter. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. I've got a piece of the adorable Santa's Workshop specialty paper. And this is a gorgeous specialty paper. Now, this is on back order, I think, until November 26th, which is just like, I don't know, is that like a week away? I think so. Close to that. Um, so it'll be back in stock. And I'm telling you guys, if you've even already made your Christmas cards, you will love to have this for making tags for your presents and also perhaps for stuff next year. I'm going to show you a box, too, before we, we are done. And... Um, I use this paper. It's super, super cute. So I've got a piece of the Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper. And this is, um, let's see, I think this is four by five and a quarter. Let me look here. Oh, no, <laughs> never mind. It's not. It's a scrap. And I'll show you what we're going to do with it in a minute. Scrap of Whisper White. And then I have a tiny little strip, and this is actually even probably less, maybe a quarter of an inch by, uh, maybe like two and a half. We're, we'll cut it down to whatever we need it to be. And then I took a bunch of the designer series paper. So the green lines is four and five eighths by one. <coughs> the trees, are three quarters by four and seven eighths. The candy cane striped paper is a half inch by five. I don't think that's a half inch. I think that's more like a quarter inch by five. And then I've got some of our textured poppy parade ribbon that's also part of that suite and a scrap of the sparkle glimmer paper. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me get out some of my elements that I've already die cut for you. You want my paper guide. Well, I'll tell you what you need to do. All you need to do is to get this is you just type up. It says Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series Paper. So I have the title of it. It has the item code, the price, and then it tells what colors coordinate with them. You type this up on your... Um, Microsoft Word or whatever you use to type up things. And then all of these solid boxes are three and a quarter. The designer series paper is three by three and it's cut right down the middle and you just make these. That's all it, there is to it. So yeah, and they're very handy, I love them. Okay, back to our project. So, you see this paper? So here's our little snowman and look what I did. I took the stitched shapes framelits and I die cut this. So I just die cut that piece out of there and now we're gonna use this to make a card. Okay. Hang on just a second while I get this going. I'm gonna do the inside of the card first and that's that four by five and a quarter inch piece. And we are going to be using Memento Ink and Poppy Parade. Let me find my stamps over here. And we're gonna, oh, I used two stamp sets to make these projects tonight. The Signs of Santa 
and the Timeless Tidings. So I love this word set. This goes with the Timeless Tidings card kit, which is also, I believe I'm back order right now, but it's coming in November 26th, I believe. So very, very cool. I'm going to, whoops, we're gonna take the words that I need here. This one is the one that says Moments and Memories. And I'm going to ink that up in the Poppy Parade. Oh, Cindy's asking me if I got my elk. And no, I did not get my elk, but I did not have an elk to get. <laughs> um, I did not go elk hunting. So I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I did go deer hunting and I didn't get one of those either. So yeah, but thanks for asking. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, next I'm going to take the presents and I'm going to stamp those in the Memento ink right there because you guys know I like to design or I like to decorate up the inside of my card. And then I'm going to bring in this little sign that is so stinking adorable. There we go. And next I'm going to stamp, there's um, in the stamp set is the North Pole. Let me find it. There it is. And I'm just going to stamp that. Hang on, I got to stand up for a second. See what I'm doing. There we go. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right. And then I decided to use just some markers to color these items in. But first, before we do that, I would use the framelits. You get a whole bunch of framelits in here with this bundle. And I would use this framelit and I would die cut that. And then you guys know, of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done it. Yay me. So we're just gonna color this in with markers. And when I, when I look at Poppy Parade, I always think that it looks kind of like an orangey red, which I guess it really is. But um, one of the neat things about it is it is the color in this paper. And when you use it by itself, not next to like real red, it does look red. And it's a very bright, vibrant color. Okay. Oh, I have to do my North Pole on there too. Sorry, I forgot about that. Let me get that in there. Yay. And you know what? I think, uh-oh. Am I missing? Oh, you know what? I think I'm missing my blends. What is this? Oh, light crumb cake. Here we go. I'm going to color this in. I'm just going to color the sign with some light crumb cake. And then I did something really cool. Oh, not to this one. Sorry. Nothing cool on here. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'll do something cool on the next card. Okay, so we are going to, oh, I know, I needed the markers for this. We're going to color in some of these little presents because you guys know how I like to decorate stuff up on the inside of the card. Let me see if I can stay in the lines. There we go. And where's my, here's my garden green. And I'm just going to color the rest of these stripes. Super cute, right? Okay. Yeah, it is an orange red, right, Karen? I, I really like it. Yeah, and Megan, um, there's nothing I can do about the blurriness. It is what it is. I am out in the country right now on a slower internet connection, and it's either a little blurry or not at all. So um, you will be able to find pictures on my blog, and I'm hoping to have those loaded up for tomorrow, you'll find pictures of all these projects. So while you can see me make them, you may not be able to see them crystal clear, but you'll see them on my blog and that should be helpful. All right, next, here's what we're gonna do. We've already got this cut out. We need to stamp our greeting. And what I did with that is there is a little stamp in here that says a joyous Christmas. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to use my marker to color in a joyous. And then on this tiny, tiny little strip, 
hope I can get it straight. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna stamp that, and now we're gonna clean this. And then I'm going to color the Christmas because while this is, you know, stacked words, I wanted them to be in a long line. And then we're gonna do the Christmas. Okay, that's a little crooked. But don't worry, don't panic yet. It's gonna be okay. And then I've got from all of us. And I'll color that in. And did anybody see my husband on here tonight? He said he was gonna watch me. He went home today too. Well, that turned out okay. And next, of course, through the magic of TV, because I knew this might be a problem, I did that in it straight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our really cool card. There's a little story behind this card. And you know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring my tape runner. So I'm just going to use some tear and tape. And let's see if we can get this on here for our ribbon. So I'm just going to do some tear and tape about right here. So, okay. And then I've got my take your pick tool. It was funny, all the stuff that I usually have sitting on my desk next to me that I had to remember to bring, right? Because that's a little like, oh my gosh, what if I forget something like my take your pick tool or something like that? That would not be cool. Okay, so here's our ribbon. And then we're going to come in and we're going to, I want this striped paper tucked behind my trees just a little bit. So we're going to have to do that first. And so I'm just going to run a very thin line of glue right up here. Oh, and did I tell you the dimensions on this? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, I did. I told you all the dimensions. And I'll also have, I'll type those up and put them at the top of this Facebook Live so you guys have them when I'm done too, because I know how helpful that is. If you're in your stamp room and you're like, ooh, I wanna make that card, I want you to be able to do that. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to let this overlap that ribbon a tiny bit. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the striped ribbon, and I'm going to add that right to the top here. Now, this is a great, great thing to do with all these little pieces that we all keep, right? Um, Rhonda's saying, Steve, are you out there? My laugh isn't blurry. Thank you so much, Lori. You're so sweet. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so pretty cool, right? Great thing to do with your scraps. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to trim everything off here. Try not to cut my card. Oh, I did pretty good. Okay. Then we're gonna come in with some dimensionals and I did remember to bring my dimensionals. Thank goodness. This is going on the back of that oval and we just cut this out of the designer series paper. So we didn't have to stamp anything for that. I'm gonna give it four Dimensionals. My mom's going to love the backings of the dimensionals all over her kitchen. <laughs> she won't care. And then we're going to just add that right here. One of the things I love about this paper is it's flocked. Like these little snowflakes, I'm sure you can't see them, have flocking on them and they're so pretty. Where did that? Here's our little strip for our words. I'm just going to put some glue right here and add that right down here. So that just kind of sitting on there. Last but not least, we have the sparkle paper. So I took the dies. We have three different sizes of snowflakes in here. We have this one, this one, and this one. So I die cut all of those out of that scrap of sparkle paper. And we're going to add them with some mini, I'm gonna add two of them with mini dimensionals here. So we've got this one. These are the biggest ones. And this one. So what are you guys drinking tonight? I have Pepsi. I still haven't decided to go on my little diet thing again. <laughs> I gotta get, get brave. You gotta work yourself up to that, right? 
Yeah, so I haven't done that yet. So I'm still drinking Pepsi. I don't have my anniversary cup here, but it's at home. Oh, and that's delicious. All right, here we go with the rest of our little sparkle snowflakes. And these really do, like, just, they're the finishing touch on a really cute card. And I'm just going to randomly place them around. Oh, I think I just threw one on the floor, you guys, so I just lost one, too. Um, I should have another one, but I don't, I think. Yep. Oh, wait, I found it. My mom's floor is kind of white, so... It's hard to um, hard to see that down there. All right, Coke with lime syrup. Well, that sounds really interesting. I like sweet tea too. Sharon, that's one of my favorites. Your son just made you coffee, Megan. That's nice. Okay, so what do you guys think? I know it's kind of blurry. I think it goes in and out. It, at least it is on my screen. Now it's blurry. Then it'll be good. Super cute card. Uses up the scraps that we love to save. Where did I get this idea? I cased the catalog. This card is on the page in the holiday mini catalog with this bundle of stuff. And I wanted to share this with you because um, a lot of times if I feel like I've lost my creative mojo and I'm just not coming up with um, some card designs, I will just stop and I will open up my catalog and I'll find a stamp set that I have and I will just case exactly what Stampin' Up! has made with it. And then I can get my mojo back. And sometimes I need to case two of them, but that's why casing what's in the catalog is a great idea because it can really help you get your creative juices flowing, I think, too, right? Thanks, you guys, for showing the love. I'm so happy. I know, this is a really cute card. Okay, now, I have another card for you, so hang tight. Let me move, um, I think I need to clean a few things. You guys can take a drink, catch your breath a little bit. I'm just gonna clean off a few of these stamps so we can move on to the next project. Here we go, okay. Got these done and ready to roll. I'll just shove everything out of the way, right? <laughs> just move it out of the way. Okay, next card. Where is it? Hang with me. I've lost it. Nope, here it is. All right, here we go. Again with Garden Green because, well, it looks good with this paper. That's why I'm, I'm using it. I'm going to bring this in. And this and this and this and this. Okay. Here comes our pieces. Let me set this over here. Again, I decided to use the signs of Santa. And let me see if I used, yep, I think I still use the um, Timeless Tidying stamp set for my inside greeting. So, I have a scrap of pool party here a scrap of Whisper White. I've got a piece of the Santa's um, Workshop Designer Series paper. And this piece is three and an eighth. So three and an eighth by four and three eighths. I'll set that over there because it's not a scrap. I've got a piece of Whisper White that is three and a quarter by four and a half. A piece of Whisper White that is five and a quarter by four Four. I couldn't get that out. <laughs> and a scrap of the um, Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series paper. And then, of course, a garden green base. So let's get this card going here. And Cindy says that that's what she does, too, is she cases the catalog. And it really is a great way to um, get things moving along, right? It's really helpful. Okay, so I should have another ink pad here. Where is, uh-oh, hang on. Oh, right here. Whew. It's getting a little nervous. Don't worry, I've got it. It's under control. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the, may the warmth of Christmas fill each corner of your heart and home. And isn't that sweet? 
In Pool Party Inc. Let's hope it's straight. Oh, perfect. Okay, good deal. And then also in that Timeless Tidying stamp set, we have these three images. Uh-oh, we're interrupted right now. So I'm just wondering if you guys can still hear me. Is the video still going? Um, I think the comments continue to feed live. I hope so. But it says we're interrupted. I don't know what's going on there. Huh. Okay, maybe we're still going. I'm going to keep going. They have some images in um, that stamp set. So I'm going to get out my garden green ink. And the tree. I love, love, love this tree. If you guys follow me on my blog, you would have seen the cards that I made last week. It was a fun technique called um, faux watercolor with these trees. And this is just a beautiful little image. I love the little scribble lines. Okay, so we've got our inside of our card ready to rock here. And I'm just going to add it so we don't lose it in my mess of papers on the table. Okay. And now we're going to do the front. And this is really fun. So I'm going to take this piece. Now this piece was the 3 and an eighth by 4 and 3 eighths. And don't worry, I'll add these into the um, description of this video on Facebook. And also you'll find this on my blog, which is, you know, here's my blog address, www.stampabove.com, if you can read that. So I just glued this to that white layer. And then we're going to put it on the front of our card. And because I cased that other card from the catalog that just um, took the um, these images and die cut that snowman, right? Where did my card go? Right here. I just die cut this with a stitch shaped framelit. Super cute. I decided, well, why not die cut this little snowman that's throwing little snowballs up in the air and kind of go along with the same thing, right? Okay, so that's what I did. I took this piece, that's my scrap of pool party, and I die cut a scallop circle with this scrap. You know, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. And then with this piece right here, I die cut my snowman out on a stitch shapes framelit. Okay, so I got this right here. We're just gonna add that to this layer. Okay, and then we are going to glue that offset over here to our card front. And notice I've got it coming off of the edge of this designer paper because I don't know, that just adds some interest that I really like. We've got this scrap of um, Whisper White, and we're gonna take that sign again and stamp it. And then I'm gonna do, where's my North Pole? That's not a North Pole, that's not a North Pole. Here's a North Pole. We're gonna stamp that on the sign. Yay! And through the magic of TV, I've already die cut that. I keep forgetting that I need to restamp the North Pole. So there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Blends. Now remember, with the Stampin' Blends, you need to use um, the Memento ink. That's very important. And I am going to color this. I've got a fun twist to this, this layer, so just hang tight because I think you're going to love it. Okay, so I just colored it with the pool party. And now I'm coming in with the light crumb cake to color my wooden sign. And I love these because there's no scribble marks with these bigger um, images that you color. Then I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this. And I've got my mini dimensionals here. Let's keep going. Did anybody ask questions that I'm missing? I saved some of the ones. Yeah, Lisa, I save all my catalogs. You can't get rid of catalogs, right? <laughs> it's just wrong to throw up the catalogs. You know, stamping up for years, um, creating keepsakes always had this big poll that they asked all of their um, subscribers 
different things. Stampin' Up! had the best rubber stamps. They had the best, um, let's see, what else? The best ink pads and the best catalog because it was an idea book and a catalog. It was ranked the best on the market. So that's a really cool little tip. Okay, I'm going to finish this card up with some Baker's Twine. And this is our Pool Party in Silver Baker's Twine. And then we're going to do our last little element, which you guys are going to love. But I want to get the card. Gosh, this is hard to hold on to. I want to get the card completely finished before I do that last thing. Okay, I'm wrapping this around three times. Here we go. Hang on to it. Keep it nice and tight. And I left myself lots of baker's twine here. Oh, that's not very much. I kind of gooped that up. Hang on, you guys. Yeah, this is the part I would cut out of a video. <laughs> but you can't do that when you're live. So I didn't plan very well there. Let's try this again. One, two, three. There we go. This is going to be better. And I'm going to tie this. Oops, come on. There we go. I'm going to tie this in a knot first. Well, yep, I'm tying it in a knot. And I've shown you guys this before. Because Baker's twine is so thin, you can put a knot in it here. Where with ribbon, it would create too much bulk, right? Mm. But with Baker's twine, you can put a knot in it. And now I'm going to tie a bow. Maybe, come on. Sometimes my fingernails get in the way. There we go. And now when you're when you're futzing with these bows, you want to hang on to those tails, especially with Baker's twine. If you don't hang on to, not the tails, the loops. If you don't hang on to them, they'll curl up and they will never look nice. So, yeah. Um, you want to hang on to them. So I've got a nice little bow there. Now here's my really fun thing that I'm going to do. I have some of the shimmery white embossing paste. Yeah, this has sparkles in it, and I wish that you could see the sparkles. You're probably not going to be able to, but I think you can in the pictures that I already took. So these are. this is one of our palette knives, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this sparkle embossing paste, and I am going to touch it to the bottom of my sign. And then I'm gonna put some on the top of my sign right here. Let me grab just a little bit more and a little bit more right on the sign itself. The others were on the pole. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that just adorable? Yeah, super cute, right? Now you want to make sure that you're cleaning off your um, palette knives right away. Let me find a Kleenex. My mother always has Kleenexes everywhere because as a child I had really bad allergies. <laughs> well, this is why I think anyways. It's probably not because of me anymore. I don't live here, but she always has Kleenexes around because I always needed one. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think? Super cute. Yeah, I really like this one. Thank you so much, Kim, for um, <laughs> informing Martha that my internet speed is not very good tonight. I appreciate that. Okay, let's move on. Um, I recommend keeping this um, styrofoam little um, seal type thing in here with your paste. It's just not a bad idea to keep it in there. And then let me close these up because I have a really pretty gift to show you. I think you guys are going to just die when you see this. And I need to find my computer case. So hang tight because I have to show you um, one of the stamp sets in there and where this next item is coming from. So around the holidays, and well, like for birthdays and anything like that, to Valentine's Day, um, I'm gonna, this next thing that I'm going to show you, whoops, sorry, the next thing that I'm going to show you can be used for any type of an event or any type of a little gift box that you need, but I love stuff like this. 
So here we go. Let me find my computer case. It's right over here and see if I can get my um, holiday mini catalog out. Yep, here it is. Okay. It's getting a little, it's looking a little worn, right? I'm going to show you. Oh, I think it's in the front, actually. Nope, here it is. This is the Making Everyday Bright stamp set. And we have one called Making Christmas Bright, too, I believe. And it goes with the light bulb or Christmas bulb builder punch. So you can punch out all of these images. Well, you see this little, I think this little feather one is the one that I'm going to show you here. Yep. Are you ready for this? Look at the turkey. I'm going to hold it here so that it'll blur in and come back. It'll focus and blur and focus and blur. Um... It's got a wobbler on it. Okay, so there's a wobbler. Remember I showed you that really cute card? Um, this, or Actually, I think I have it right here. Hang on. The Santa box. And by the way, if you placed an order and got a free template of, not the Santa box, the snowman box with the wobbler in it, I have those here with me, and I will be sending those out in the next couple days. I'm trying to get caught up just coming back from Orlando. So this was a wobbler in here in this gift card box and this turkey has a wobbler on it. So little story behind this. Um, one of my demonstrators from Arizona was in Wisconsin this last week and her and her sister are both on my team. Her sister's from Milwaukee and they wanted to meet me because I've never met them. So um, we had lunch together on... Thursday yep on Thursday and she brought me some gifts this was one of them look at it's a I think it's got a magnet on it is that a magnet I think it is and it's got this turkey and a wobbler so all of these turkey feathers are cut out with the builder punch and then the turkey itself I think all of these pieces except the eyes come from the um, fox builder punch you guys wouldn't this be cute as a place card for your Thanksgiving table? I know. Super, super cute. So, um, this was a gift from, um, oh my gosh, don't let me, Dee Dee Tibke. Okay. And then I have to show you the box that she made for me. Here's the box she made. Isn't this beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. And also inside the box, besides the turkey, was a half of an ornament ball. Look at this. With, oh, I can't remember what this is called, but we sell this whole die set with the little church and the buildings in it. Isn't that so, so pretty? So, and this is an ornament, and she stamped her information on the back. One of a kind art created by Dee Dee. Isn't that pretty? And this is going to be an ornament for my tree. I think that just oh my gosh I love 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 this I think it's just the coolest thing ever so I wanted to show you how to make this wonderful box because after I got home and I um, was trying to get ready to go out of town I'm like I messaged Dee Dee and I said Dee Dee do you have the dimensions for the box and so I'm going to show you how to make it and I've got some more boxes made to show you that are already done too all right so here comes our cardstock layers. I have a piece of pool party that is seven by seven. I've got a piece of the Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper, whoops, hang on, that is six by six, and I brought an extra piece in case I mess it up, because <laughs> you never know. And then I needed um, a scrap of pool party and what else? A scrap of white, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, I'm going to grab my trimmer, and I'm going to take the lid first. Now, remember, the lid is six by six, and we're going to score it. Now, Dee Dee told me to score this at one sixteenth of an inch before one and a half. But when I did that, my box lid was a little big. So I'm going to go one sixteenth of an inch before 
four one. I'm gonna go in between that one sixteenth of an inch and one and a half. So almost one and a half, not quite. And we're gonna do that at one and a half. And then we're gonna go just past the four and a half, just a teeny hair. And we're gonna score that. And you're gonna do that on both sides. So now I've turned it, I'm gonna go just a teeny hair before one and a half and a teeny hair after one and a half, but not all the way to that next mark. So we have that done. Now, for the box bottom, we're gonna score at two and five. And two and five. And this is just how easy this box is, you guys, and I love that it's just so simple. So let me bring my scissors in. Now when I'm making boxes, you're gonna cut from, you're gonna cut on these two score lines and these two score lines. You're gonna cut up to this score line and down to this score line. That's how you make the boxes. So this is a really simple one, nothing too confusing. I'm kinda tilting it in the light here so I can see what I'm doing. Here comes the next one. Don't forget to share my video. Sharing is caring. And click on that like button. That really helps me out too. I appreciate it. We're gonna do the same thing with the lid. We're gonna cut up to the first score line on these and turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. On this one, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna fold on all of them. You're gonna fold and burnish with your bone folder all the little edges because that's gonna make your, make your box really nice and crisp. Am I missing any questions? You guys know I get so wrapped up in this and I forget to look at the questions. Let me make sure that my computer, oh no, my computer isn't keeping up. Oh, thanks Mary, I'm so glad you're a first time watcher. That's awesome. Okay. Next, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Give them a good burnish with your bone folder. That makes a nice crisp box. It's really important when you're making boxes that you um, score properly too. Like you need to score at you know exact lines. Okay, so this box is so, so simple. You're going to pull up the tabs that we cut and you're just gonna go like this and then pull up this side and this side. Voila. And I wanna just take a look at this and see how it's gonna fit. And I can see that one of my tabs is a little bit taller than the edge of my box, so I'm just gonna trim it at a little angle. Just like that, okay? So you can do that, and it's just gonna look nicer. And I think the other side needs, see how much nicer that looks? I think the other side needs maybe the same thing. Yep, this one. I'm just gonna cut it at an angle. There we go. Okay, time to put the box together. Now, you can use liquid glue. You can use tear and tape, whatever floats your boat. There's an old saying, that just really dated me, didn't it? <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna add glue to one of those tabs and then I'm gonna add some glue to this bigger layer, which is our outside. So I'm gluing the glued one to this one and then this. And now I'm putting this all together at the same time to make sure that I'm squaring up the edges of my box because that's really important when you're making a box. And Lisa says she saves old small boxes and uses them for patterns. Uh, exactly, I mean, it's a great thing to do with boxes, right? I love making boxes. So I put some glue there, and now I'm gonna add my glue to this big piece, and we're gonna do this, and then this right away. Because the glue gives you that wiggle room, that's why I love it so much. And I'm squaring up the corners, because you want your corners to be nice and crisp. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's the box bottom. Now we have to do the lid. And for the lid, you're gonna pull your tabs in, add some glue to them, just like that. 
And again, you're gonna square them up with that outside piece. Like boxes don't get much easier than this, you guys, seriously. Okay, and then again, we're going to pull the tabs in, pull the tab in and add that glue. Here we go. And square that up. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Let's see if it fits. And perfect. Okay, so here's our cute little box. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm wiggling this really fast. I need to slow down a little bit. And this box is pretty good size. What would you guys put in this? Like I'm thinking I would put homemade caramels. I love to make homemade caramels. I would put homemade caramels or some type of homemade candy in a little cello bag and put it in here. Or my favorite, all time favorite is a set of brand new car keys. <laughs> I know, I keep hoping for a new car. Um, nobody's ever given me one though. Okay, let me show you what I did with this. So, um, your scrap of pool party, I took that and I die cut a square of um, from the Stitch Shapes framelits. And I'm just going to take that, whoops, I have some, oh hang on, I have some, I need to tie my box closed. So after you put your goodies in it, I would take some of that blue and silver baker's twine and tie a bow over on the side. And you don't want to tie this one in a knot because you want people to be able to open the box. So we're going to do our best to get a tight, oh, I did pretty good. A tight little bow there. If you need some help, you ask for somebody to give you the finger. <laughs> you know what I mean. That didn't sound very good. Yes, yes, Lisa. Chocolate candy or chocolate kisses caramels. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, shark keys for my new truck would be fantastic and they would fit in here perfectly. <laughs> I need a new truck. I know. Okay. Next, I'm going to take some dimensionals. Where did they go? What time is it? 8.06. I'm right on schedule, you guys. This is amazing, and we haven't been kicked off the internet yet, which is just incredible in itself. I know it keeps blurring in and out, you guys, um, but at least it's blurring in, right? It's focusing. One time, well, I had a couple weeks where, for some reason, the quality of my videos were just horrible, and they did not um, focus at all. So uh, we have better connection here than I had there. Okay, so here is the top. And what did I do with this? I wonder why I have this. Wishing you everything on your list. I don't know. I think I just grabbed a scrap of white and that was on there. But one of the other things in the framelits for this, if I could find them. Hang on. Uh, they're here. They're not under there. Do you guys see them any place? Oh, here they are. One of the neat little things in these framelits is this little tag, and it is stinking adorable. So, I am going to stamp a do not open till Christmas, and I'll tell you what, if anybody wants to get me a new car, I promise I'm not a peeker on the presents at all. Like, even if I find a bag in my house and I kind of like, oh, I don't think I should look at that. Because, you know, especially in December or so, it might be presents. I will not look at it. I'm not a peeker. And um, what, what else was I going to say? I'm not a peeker at presents. Oh, and I don't shake things to try to guess them. I want to be surprised. So if anybody wants to surprise me with a set of new keys... I will be shocked, I promise. I'll videotape the whole thing. And of course, you guys know I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I might be buying a new vehicle pretty soon. So this, do not open till Christmas with Memento ink. And then you're going to die cut that in your Big Shot. And when you do that, you're going to have this little tag. Yay, me! Through the magic of TV. Now, what did I do with my box? I know, somebody said I covered up the snowman. I did cover up the snowman, but don't worry, it's gonna be okay because 
I am going to take this image and this image and I'm going to cut them out. And oh my gosh, look, I've already done that. <laughs> and we are going to add them to the top of the box to make it just absolutely adorable. So I've got a couple dimensionals on my snowman and then this little elf that's handing the present up to the snowman. And we're gonna stick this on that pool party square, just like this, and just like this. And then guess what I did? I didn't stick this through there, so I need to do that. I forgot. These are tooth flossers. So if you have like um, braces, you get these from your orthodontist to um, put the tooth floss in there and stick them in between your teeth to floss your teeth. Well, I had braces twice. And I think I told you guys that I'm doing that direct smile club right now because I lost my retainers years and years ago and my teeth got crooked again. So I'm doing the direct smile club and I have to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm almost done and my teeth are now, the gaps are closed and they're almost straight again. So I use this as a, as a flosser. Also a needle threader will do the same thing. You can buy that in your sewing department at any store. And you just pop it through the hole and, oh, well, you want the thread to stay in there. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. Yes, I'm a professional. <laughs> no, I'm not acting like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been breathing too much deer air. That's what Pat is telling me. Well, that's entirely possible. Okay, here we go. Now this is a tiny little hole, so when you do this, you wanna be kind of gentle that you don't rip the end off your tag, right? So here's what I did. I'm just gonna push that all the way up there, and then I'm gonna tie my bow. And that'll work perfectly, but you have that cute, cute, cute little tag there. Isn't that just adorable? Do not open till Christmas. Again, new car keys or Caramel kisses, like Lisa said, would work perfect too. Do you guys want to see the other boxes that I made? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Hang on. Let me put these away because I don't have many left. It's been many years since I had braces. And, whoops, I just threw them right off the table. Okay, so there's, there's our cute, cutie patootie little box here. I made one with the All Is Bright Designer Series Paper and Cherry Cobbler, you guys. Isn't this pretty? Another just beautiful box. And I love that our paper is double-sided because the inside is equally as pretty, right? Now, I have to tell you, um, Dee Dee actually lined the inside of her box with some Designer Series Paper. And that's very pretty also, isn't it? So you can just cut pieces and glue them in there. That's what she did. Hang on, let me get this back together. I have another box to show you. And then I used the little Christmas bulbs. And this is the same All Is Bright Designer Series paper. And look at the inside of this box. These can fit earrings. They could fit a gift card with some candy. I hate just giving gift cards. It's just the boring, it's so boring, right? It's like, oh, here's a gift card. No. We are crafters, we are paper crafters, and we need to make things spectacular, people. <laughs> all right, so here's all the boxes. Here's the little cute little card that I came up with. And here is the card that I cased right from the catalog, right? So I can get my creative mojo going. All right, you guys. That's all I have for tonight. I am so impressed that our internet did not crash. I know this wasn't the best quality. I apologize for that, but it is focusing in and out and you can see when it focuses. And I will have pictures of everything on my blog, www.astampabove.com. If you're going to place an order for any of the products I've shown you here tonight or any of the products that I handle, use this host code and that'll get you some special perks from me. If your order's over $150, do not use the host code because you will get your own rewards from Stampin' Up. You'll still get the perks from me. If you ordered, um, placed an order over $35 while I was in Florida, I will be getting these out. Templates to make your own little gift card box. 
I'll be getting those out in the mail to you this week, I promise. I'm trying to get caught up and this is one of the top things on my list. And are there any questions that I miss you guys? I think, I don't think there was a lot of questions tonight, which is good. Oh, Hughes Candy would be, oh yeah, Mary, Mary Olson says Hughes Candy would be just perfect in these boxes too. <laughs> But I do love making little gift boxes and matching tags. And, you know, I can just put a gift card in here with a couple candy kisses and call it a day. Um, also, these would be absolutely fabulous for Secret Santas at work or even stocking stuffers. You know, you can put some, some favorites in here of whatever your friends and family like and add some ribbon and a little tag and do a stocking stuffer. Or diamonds. Diamonds are always good. And again, car keys are perfect. <laughs> you guys have been wonderful tonight. Thank you so much for putting up with the with the craziness of the low um, low speed internet. I knew that this might be a challenge, and I actually tested it all day, like today, many times. I came, we came back to the house for lunch from deer hunting. And I did a little sample Facebook Live on a private page that I have just for that. And um, it worked fine. And then I did some more later when we came in and that worked fine. And then when I got ready to go live, we were having all this squealing. It was horrible. Like you guys would have poked your eyes out. Um, so that's when my mom went around and started unplugging everything. The refrigerator is unplugged. Everything's unplugged. So I'm just really glad that we could get through this and I didn't have to say, sorry, I'll have to see you next week because that would have really stunk, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, if anybody has any questions, let me know. As always, I really, really appreciate your orders. Oh, folded $100 bills, Jeanette says, would work too. Yes, indeed they would. <laughs> I always appreciate your orders. Make sure you click on the like button. Make sure you click on that share button and share my video. That really helps me a lot. Um, do the same thing on YouTube. Click on that like button. Share my video. I really appreciate it. I love all your comments. Um, and happy Thanksgiving to everybody next week. I will be live. Uh, what is next Sunday? I can't look on my phone because that's where my calendar is. But I will be live next Sunday. At 7 p.m. I have no idea what we're gonna make but I'm gonna figure it out when I go home tomorrow because let's see tomorrow I'm going home it's about a two-hour drive for me and um, then I'm waiting till Tuesday I have stamp club and Fond du Lac can't wait to see my Fond du Lac ladies um, tomorrow night and then on Tuesday I'm gonna wait for my daughter to get done teaching school so that we can ride over here together so we can be here for Thanksgiving. Um, she has Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, so that's awesome. We're going to be with my mom for Thanksgiving, and then my sister's coming with her kids, and who else? Oh, my nephew's coming, so that'll be fun. We'll have a house full of people again, and my mom makes a rockin' turkey, let me tell you, with all the stuffing. And I have to tell you guys this. My mom makes homemade green bean casserole, which is my all-time favorite. And when I say homemade, I mean she makes her own white sauce with sautéed giant mushrooms, sliced mushrooms in it. She makes everything from scratch. And oh my gosh, my mouth is watering right now thinking about it. So we're going to um, go into a food coma on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be bad. But anyways, it'll be worth it. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope that you can be together with your friends and family and um, have just a wonderful time. Hug those kids. Hug those parents. Hug your siblings. Um, life is short. Enjoy it. Bye-bye.